So this question is a diagram question. I say that because of the visual here, the graph that's provided. So let's read the question and see how we're going to use this graph to answer the question. So the question says the fluctuation of water depth at a pier is shown in the figure below. Well, how, how is it shown? So let's take a look at this graph. So the y-axis is depth. The x-axis is number of hours after 6 a.m., so it's time. And we can see that at zero hours, our depth is at 12 feet, and um, it goes down from there down to it looks like about six hours, maybe seven hours. Uh, we're down to a depth of six feet, and then it goes up, right, back up to 12, and we keep cycling in this same manner. So the next sentence, and so again, I just took a second there to make sure I understand the graph before I keep reading, right? Because I don't want to read the whole thing and have no clue of what this graph is all about. So the next sentence says, one of the following values gives the positive difference in feet between the greatest water depth. Okay, so we already discovered that the greatest water depth is 12. That's the highest, right? So we're looking for the positive difference between 12 and the least water depth. So we also discovered, or we can see here, that the least water depth here is six. Yes, looks like that is straight with six. So it should just be 12 minus six here. Um, which value is it? Well, this seems as simple as just saying 12 minus six equals six. And therefore the correct answer here is choice G.